Hey YouTube, several months ago I posted on Twitter that my Tesla ran a red light. When I took over at the last second, people often said I was being overly cautious and that FSD would have stopped in the last millisecond. However, today I will show proof that FSD, which will apparently be safer than a human in three months, actively runs red lights. I will conduct this test three times on version 11.4.4 and three times on the latest version 11.4.7 for a total of six attempts, all in the name of science. I'll include a single camera angle clearly showing the road, pedals, steering wheel, and dash all at the same time to prove that these tests are 100% genuine. Please do not try this at home. For context, this is what the road looks like on Google. The cars flowing in the green direction are on a highway. I'll be traveling along the road with the red arrow. The red light the vehicle runs is used to protect cars from colliding with cross traffic on the highway. I have been reporting this bug to Tesla for two years. Will FSD stop for the light on either update? Let's find out. We're now just pulling out onto the road and we are on version 11.4.4, which at this time is an old build. But I do want to show you that on this build, it does try to run a red light. And so we'll see the lights right here and uh, hopefully no other cars are coming the other direction. If there's not, I'll maybe put it through its paces, but nope, there's cars coming. There's cars coming. Jesus, that was all of me pressing the brake. As seen, I hit the brakes manually to prevent the car from running a red light. We're gonna run this test two more times on 11.4.4 before upgrading to 11.4.7 to see if an update can fix this terrible bug. Now here we are on 11.44 once again. FSD is activated, we are driving down the road. I'm not giving it any input. Um, I'll put a light down here so you can see my feet. I'm not touching the pedals whatsoever unless I need to stop. The light is red. There are cars coming, oncoming. I'm hitting the brakes. I'm hitting the brakes. What do you think about that, Vivek? Yeah, it's pretty jarring. Um, the autopilot doesn't, or full self-driving doesn't seem to recognize that this light is red and it just tries to go through at full speed. It's unbelievable. Really, really dangerous. I've been reporting this light for the Tesla trying to run it for over two years now. And it uh, is constantly just trying to run it. Tesla does not fix it. I always report it. I push the butts in and no matter how many times you do that, it still tries to run the light. So let's see again. This is the third attempt on 4.4. I'm not touching the pedals whatsoever. It's just gonna go right through the red light. See, look at that. Oh, it comes to a complete stop. Stops in the middle of the inter. Stopping for traffic light. We're in the middle of an intersection. Literally, holy. Super fuck. dangerous. Oh, Jesus, it took so hard to get take over too right there. Now it's now it's telling me correct the steering for my safety. Tesla, I do not trust you to keep me safe right now. Like, oh my goodness. Let's go back to the house. Let's update to 11.4.7 and rerun this to see if anything changes because in my two to three years testing this, I've never seen it effectively do it. Like that's a highway. Yeah, and then it stops in the middle once it realizes, oh, the light is red. Just stopping us in the middle of an intersection. Cars are going 60 plus miles an hour. As we saw on 11.4.4 in all three tests, the Tesla wanted to run a red light. As promised, we were on 11.4.4 and now we're gonna update to 23.7.3, which is the 11.4.7 update. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. We'll double tap that just to bring it down to zero. And now we are updating. We'll try this again once this update has gone through. As you can see here, we're now on 11.4.7. And so we're going to redo this test. So now that we're on 11.4.7, let's see if the tests are any different. FSD beta has now been activated. And I'm going to show you my feet. So you can see that there is absolutely no controls on the pedals. Is it clear? Oh, fuck. I'm getting the brakes. Okay. Well, it did a little bit better. It stopped far over the line. Did it you did, see the line on the screen there? It did appear like it would eventually stop, but we weren't willing to stop in an intersection with oncoming traffic. As that, that car was coming oncoming. Right, here we are for our second attempt at the red light on 1147. Again, that was quite jarring that we had to hit the brakes, even though it kind of hesitated, it didn't really know what to do. It was kind of stopping, it kind of wasn't, but it was still very alarming. So what I'm going to do is try it a second time. Let's see how, how it goes. Again, I'm gonna show you my feet, so you can tell that there's no one 
pushing these pedals. Is there anyone coming? There's not a single car coming. And it goes right through the intersection. That time we actually ran the red light. And it just keeps driving as if it did nothing wrong. It thinks it handled that beautifully. And it's incredible that some people have zero disengagement drives when we can show proof that this happens 100% of the time on the multiple different software updates. Yeah, right? And they even put like a little improvement on it. Like the first run, it seemed to improve a little bit, but this run, it didn't, uh, didn't attempt to stop at all. All right, we got FSD on. We are driving towards this red light once again. Again, I mean, if it runs it again, this is just ridiculous. There's a car coming from the left, but they're very far away. And it just stops in the middle, it stops in the middle of the intersection. F me, F me. That's not okay. It's like, even if you're gonna run a red light, don't stop in the middle of the entire intersection for some car to come T-bone me. Yeah, pretty on brand for FSD doing essentially the most dangerous thing that it can in every, any given situation. Tesla puts all of the responsibility on the owners, but there's so many videos online of people being egregiously irresponsible with FSD. So, um, you know, it's just it's just not safe for the public to, to be doing that. So unfortunately, as you saw, on all six attempts, the car wanted to run the red light, whether it was 1144 or 1147. This is very unfortunate, but I do have faith that Tesla can try and fix this, but with the current hardware, that's up in the air. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this content, do feel free to like and subscribe. It does help us out. And with that, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.